I don't know what will happen. I don't know what will be the future. I don't know if I ever, if I would even be alive to see the future. We keep saying each other that, okay, we need to stay alive. Because if we die, then what is the point that we just talk about or, you know, goals and dreams. These days are very hard. It's, um, I feel that I'm very close to death these days. That is how I feel. Every day, um, every day feels like it's the last day. And it's not just me. Everyone that I know is going through the same. And we, we don't deserve this. It's very hard to keep hope alive, you know, at the moment. Um, if I want to be realistic, unfortunately, everything is very uncertain and I don't see any good future, nor for me, not for me, nor for other people who are like-minded. We are the minority who are fighting, who are, you know, raising our voices. And um, by killing some of us, they will, you know, force the rest of us to be silent. And they are trying to silence everyone. And um, that is what they want. That is what they have been doing when they were in power and what they are doing in, you know, in the areas under their control. They might be able to um, kill me or remove me, my physical uh, body, but they will never be able to kill my spirit. They will never be able to remove or erase my thoughts. My thoughts will be transformed to the next generations, um, with or without me. Um, and I will never um, forgive them. When I asked the US and international community that what was the point, my point is why? When I came back to this country, when we returned, I was a kid. And my parents believed that we will, we will be living a brighter life back in our country. And now it's, it's very dark, darker than the times that we had to flee, we had to leave this country. The victims of all this war is mostly women. We had paid as an Afghan a huge price for this war and now we are going to pay a huge price for the peace. Being here in Afghanistan is, is not without a risk. Or being a woman is not another easy task. Being a woman's rights activist is another. I accept it. Just imagine, when we come from morning, when we come out from home, we don't know at the evening that we will go back alive and see our families or not. That is the agri reality. Even men during the Taliban, that they, were, they didn't have access to their rights. If they come with such a mentality, if they come by force and they want to this is something, it's a question for the international community. Do you are satisfied with what you have done for this 20 years here in Afghanistan?